Hi everyone, Mr. Oliver here again from the James Printer Guest Library with another one of our STEAM concepts from our Makerspace videos. And again this week, we are talking about our electricity, uh, sorry, we are talking about our electricity STEAM Library Science Kit. And what we're going to be looking at today is circuits once again, but we're looking at them in a different way than we did previously. So when we looked at our fan, our noisemaker, and our light, we connected the wires to the battery or the battery to the device. And it was very straightforward. All we had to do was connect one end to the other and it was okay. What we're gonna do today using our light bulb is look at, well, we're gonna look at what's going on a little closer and we're gonna look at how the circuits work and if it matter where stuff is touching with the individual devices. So let's think about how a light works real quick. So this is my light bulb socket. I take the light bulb, I screw it in, and then at home, depending on how your lamp or your light works, you plug it into the wall, or maybe it has a battery in it, but it does everything for you. You don't really have to worry about what's going on. But what's happening with inside this socket that makes the light bulb come on? So what I'm gonna do today is using our D-cell battery again, I'm gonna connect the red end to the positive end of of the battery and the blue end to the negative end of the battery and I'm going to touch the light bulb in three different places with these alligator clips. So let's touch this part here first. So right around the sides. Hmm. Well do I have power in my battery? Yeah, battery has power. So I must not be making a circuit. If you look at the end of the light bulb, there's a little piece of metal contact point there. I probably have to touch that with both of my alligator clips. No, that's not working. And I know from the fan that the battery still has power. What if? I was to touch right here on the side of the light bulb and on the bottom and the bottom at the same time. It lights up. So that's our two different contact points. So on our fan, with our fan, our contact points are on my left and my right. When the battery and the power source get connected to that, the fan turns on. With the light bulb, the contact points are on the side and on the bottom. So when I screw it in here, you can see that along the sides of the wall, there's metal going there. And at the very bottom, there's another chunk of metal and those are connected to the black and red wire. So it's just a different shape of a circuit, but it's really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying some of these cool, cool activities that we get to do, and I hope you guys enjoy them too. All right, until next week, have a good day.